Today, we want to talk about shoulder rests, uh, and specifically the PSR family of shoulder rests. Now, why do you think we need, uh, we want to encourage young students to use shoulder rests? Number one, most students that don't use shoulder rests always slouch, always have their instruments slouching down. So a shoulder rest actually encourages um, the correct posture. Especially with young children, this is extremely important, is to have good posture. Another, uh, another reason why shoulder rests are very important for young uh, musicians is that it keeps this instrument from sliding off of their, um, their shirt and uh, their body, okay? So I uh, highly recommend that you encourage young beginning students to use shoulder rest. Now the first shoulder rest I want to talk about is the PSR original shoulder rest. This is an important shoulder rest for young students that don't have much space between the jaw and the collarbone. You'll notice that it's nice and thin and the thicker part goes automatically um, if you line up the curve of the shoulder rest with the curve of the lower bout of the thicker side magically goes in the front all by itself. Unlike a lot of the other shoulder rests that have clamps, students are always putting them on wrong and they're always falling off and it creates such a waste of time in the classroom. And so um, with the elastic band, so each shoulder rest will come with an elastic band inside of a bag like this. The elastic band is made of, it's non-latex material, so it will not dry out and crack, and it, it'll, be, it'll come tied around your shoulder rest like this. So you undo it, and what you, what you wanna do is you want to um, feed th the end here underneath the end gut, and uh, it's nice and thin so that you could just slide it through. You might need the assistance of a pencil to fish it through. And then you have the one end there and you feed this end inside the other and then stretch it so that it connects to the seep, seep out, lower seep out points right there. And then what you'll do is you'll put the one end of the shoulder rest underneath the one elastic band and then the other like that. Now you can adjust this so that it's to the lower bout, the middle of the bout, or actually on an angle like that. According, you could, there's a lot of flexibility with these shoulder rests. All right, so now if there is a child that has a little bit more space, um, you might consider the PSR Plus. Now, what's nice about this, it has a little thicker foam across the back, so it grips the back of the shoulder, and it provides another level of comfort. Just make sure that they have a little bit more room between the collarbone and the jaw, okay? The uh, next, inch, uh, next shoulder rest I want to talk about is the Comfort Curve Original. I would recommend these for, um, for more for an adult. Uh, it has the square front instead of the curved front like that, creating more support um, and more stationary feel. It has a little bit of a lift here towards the back, so it grips the back of the shoulder. Uh, this is the Comfort Curve Original. Now, this is the Comfort Curve Plus. So the difference between the two still has the square in the front. This has a lift across the back just like that, just like the original. However, the only difference between the plus and the original is that there's more of a uh, incline here that snuggles the front of the collarbone. Okay, so that is the, the Comfort Curve Plus. I'll talk to you about the Magic Strip in just a moment. The next PSR uh, shoulder rest is the saddle. It has equal foam on both ends with a saddle in the middle, which kind of like balances, creates a nice balance across both the front and the back of the shoulder. 
All right, this is the Petite Original. It mirrors the PSR Original, Petite Original, PSR Original. Um, this, the Petite Original, uh, again, has the flat for students that don't have much neck space, and it fits um, eighth to a half size, and then all of these are half to full. Okay, or 12 viola to full size viola. So this is the petite, origi uh, petite original. And then of course the petite plus, which has a little lift across the back, grips the back of the shoulder, make sure this child has more distance between the jaw and the collarbone. The petite plus mirrors the PSR plus. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the magic strip. Okay, you can order any of these shoulder rests with the magic strip or without the magic strip. Okay, the advantage of the magic strip is that it allows you the flexibility to stick the shoulder rest anywhere you want and it provides a lot of flexibility. All right, now, of course, this is the sticky back and it does accumulate dust particles. So that's why when you're done uh, using, uh, we recommend that you take the plastic bag that the shoulder rest came in, cut it so that it's the same uh, length of the shoulder rest and put, stick that plastic and back and then that will protect dust particles from accumulating and um, taken away from that stickiness. Uh, however, if that, the tackiness goes away, you can always take a flushable wipe, a baby wipe, and just dust it off and about leave about, uh, let it dry for at least several minutes. And then it will reactivate. Now, when you take the magic strip off of the back of your instrument, do not use your hands to pry, pry it away because you'll, you'll um, separate the, sh the magic strip from the shoulder rest. And so I always recommend, even though you don't need the elastic band with the magic strip, just stick it over it so that when you get, when you need to, you just release, the, release it like this. And that way you don't, you don't um, damage uh, the uh, separating the, the magic strip from the, the phone. So most violin and viola cases look like, student, student cases look like this, and uh, which doesn't have enough storage for a shoulder rest. Most students that have these student model cases are forced to have a separate pouch that ties around the handle, and oftentimes those shoulder rests get lost. The PSR shoulder rest uh, can be squished into any size case. When you open the case, it bounces back to its original shape. Now, most cases nowadays are large enough to accommodate um, uh, any size shoulder rest or any shoulder rest. Um, and but we don't rec and a lot of a lot of students are leaving their shoulder rest attached in those kinds of cases. We don't recommend that because you could cause damage to the bridge. So once you're done, be sure to detach the shoulder rest and then set it, uh, set the shoulder rest on top of the scroll and then you could close your case, all right? Um, so now, if you order a shoulder rest, it will not come with the magic strip. You must specify if you want the magic strip uh, sent with, uh, shipped with your shoulder rest. Now, if you have a shoulder rest at home and you want to add a, sh a magic strip to it, you can order just the magic strip. Now, it's simple. When you have this, you just peel off the white back and then that will be the sticky part and you will put that sticky part on the back of the shoulder pad and then there's a protective plastic film over this side. You peel that off and then, of course, like we discussed, Cut the plastic that was shipped in your, uh, in your uh, shoulder rest. 
cut it to the shape of the foam, and then when you get ready to play, peel that off, and then take this plastic film, put it on the, so you don't lose it, put it inside the case, and then attach, you could attach that, and of course, start playing. When you get done, like we discussed earlier, put this, the film back on, and that just protects the magic strip, uh, and then set it over the scroll, and then shut your case. All right, so we hope that this video has helped you in choosing the right model, a shoulder rest that's best for you. Uh, remember that music is a universal language that transcends all language barriers. Music unites both hemispheres of the brain so that you become a better learner, a better student. Learning the musical language will help you play other instruments a lot easier. And remember, music is a friend that lasts a lifetime. Enjoy playing music and enjoy creating music. Thank you.